Hi everybody, I've brought you up to Northern Ireland just to show you the final resting place of St. Patrick. It's in a beautiful uh, old cathedral in a town called Downpatrick um, and he's actually interred with two other saints, St. Bridget and St. Colum Kill as he would have been commonly referred to. And I'm going to sort of swing you around and let you show you the age of some of the headstones and the graves that are actually within this graveyard. I've looked at some of the dates on them and the majority of them are at least two to three hundred years old. So the condition in half the case, I can't even see some of the dates that are on them. But this is the slab, the final resting place uh, of St. Patrick. So you can actually see on it, hopefully I'll get that right for you. Uh, there's the name Patrick and then there's a beautiful Celtic cross. And again, just over here, there's a nice inscription which I'm going to read to you. And basically it says, according to the tradition, the remains of St. Patrick with those of St. Bridget and St. Columba, who is also known as Colum Kill, were interred on this site by John de Courcy in the 12th century, thus fulfilling the prophecy that the saints would be buried in the same place. So as you can see around me, it's actually starting to snow and my hand's getting cold holding this camera. Uh, I'm going to uh, stop the video now, but just give you a little, one more look around in the snow up in Northern Ireland, where St. Patrick was buried. The, the snow as well. How fitting.